slipped right out of my hand. It's taking it off there. The wind caught it. First, gotta catch a kayak. To catch a kayak, I'm gonna corral it. Easy there, buddy. Oh, what's going on? Dude, I wish I had my waders on because I'd walk right out there and just grab it. Yeah. Yeah, the water's up probably four or five inches from normal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're good. Nice and easy. Well guys, I'm doing something I have never done before. And I got a guy that had to be crazy enough to go with me back there, Alex Rudd. Um, I'm on my favorite river. And you're gonna say, have you kayaked the river before? And I'm like, yeah, I've kayaked this river a bunch. Never done it in winter. Never done it in January. So this is a whole new experience. This water is crystal clear. It's up a little bit. We've had a lot of rain. We're gonna go six miles. We might not catch a single fish. We might catch a ton of fish. It's one of those things I just don't know because I don't do this a lot in the winter time. But like I've talked about in previous videos, I, I've made a big effort this year to do a lot more river kayaking in the winter to see what's going on. I'm in the uh, Sholey. Alex is also in his Sholey. So um, I'm excited because this dude knows how to fish these kind of waters. And I think if we come across some right spots, we could really get some good fish. So that's the plan anyways. I'm gonna have fun either way. With the water being up, I normally would walk these, but the water's high, I think we could flow through and we just gotta be careful because some of these currents are pretty swift. But I don't have any rods up, everything's down, like hunkered in, because there's trees and branches. So this kind of, these kind of little streams, you gotta do that. So let's see if we can scoot through here. I don't know. That looks a little iffy. All right, got stay. Are scooting. That's what this cock was made for. That was fun. Like a boss. <laughs> yeah, these things just glide through that kind of stuff. They like really. I thought I was gonna be fighting it, but you can kind of still, most of the time a bigger kayak will, will like the current will take you. Yeah. This one, you can still control your kayak as you're going down it. There's one, there's one, there's one. Yes, sir. Got one. Dude, this little guy gets me excited. He's not big. Let's talk him on the board real quick, just so we know what we're looking at. He's 12 and a half inches. He's long, look how long and skinny he is. First spot. Man, it's not really been that bad. We've been out for 55 minutes, so almost an hour. And that's kind of what I expect, you know, winter fishing. A lot of times an hour per fish, if you're just trying to find something. I wasn't sure we'd catch anything, so 12 and a half inch spot. I'm excited about that. It's windy out here too. All right, let's get it back in. Dude, that's awesome. There's a this big deep stretch. I fished this stretch before and I catch fish out of here in the summer. But I'm, I'm thinking there might be some more as we work back towards the very end of this deep stretch.
a little overhanging trees. How doing, Carol? Oh, I took it. Hey, John. Come Got him. Come. <laughs> Dude, Alex got a big one. No! Oh my goodness. How big was that? That's my panda. That's what I thought. I saw him come out of the water. He looked like a monster. Yeah, I'm having a blast, and I, that's this is why I tell everybody like, this is my favorite place to go. I, it's dead winter. I only caught one fish, yeah. and I'm loving it. I got a couple of snacks. Eat one of them. Well, we're uh, I think about two hours in. We're probably that's only like a third, maybe a fourth of the way. We got quite a ways to go. Alex definitely had a chance for a big old one. That was exciting. Even though we didn't get it in, I saw it and I got pumped up. Bags. I was actually talking about these bags last night on a podcast. I got to get those, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the Plano stowaway bags. And what's awesome about them is they're completely waterproof. Headwater. Dude, headwater, those fish, they wanted to screw it. You know what I mean? All right, we got a little uh, obstacle here. Man, last year we could, they changed. Last year we barely got through it on this side. Now I got to go through on that side. I don't know, need to come through here. And clean this out because I'm gonna. Because I've played this kayak a few times. <laughs> Hear that? What was that? Oh my god! <laughs> that thing jumped. He ran and jumped in that water. A huge beaver just jumped in. That was a big old beaver. Well, man. I heard it splash and then it came out of the hole and jumped back in. I do. It's huge. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. That's a large mouth. Huh. All things. Well, it's been about two hours from the last bite to this bite. We've we've got nothing, nothing figured out. But it's a nice deep section. It's just some calm areas. There's probably a bunch of fish winter in here, and I uh, got one to bite. He's got a gash taken out of him. I don't know what happened there. The large mouth. That's two fish I wouldn't have caught. Sitting at the house. Yeah, sitting at the house thinking about summertime kayaking. So this is my motivation for you to get out there and do some exploring. If you watch my video, your motivation will be don't get out there. Yeah, you might. Be, you'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Pure unadulterated disappointment. Oh, I got a big one. Yeah. Oh my. No! That's a three pounder at least. Oh, my. the ramp's right there. Right at the ramp. I finally get a big bite. They're just biting soft, I think. Man. That's an 18, 19 inch at least. The ramp that we're taking out right there. Really? It was on that log. I just hit that log. Let it drift. Never felt anything by. I just, it just. 
Come on! This was something new for sure that I wanted to try. And um, I, it's a six mile stretch. So we parked a truck at one spot, put in kayak six miles down. We had another truck at the other spot, you know, load the kayaks up and then come back. So um, those kind of trips are uh, my, like probably, I guess I would say now my favorite way to fish, if I can do float a stretch of a river, especially like a skinny river, that's more like a big creek. You're getting to go through and fish, you know, beautiful areas, unpressured fish. This also is a mountain stream that comes out of a lot of elevation drop. So it's probably even colder than some other streams. And um, I just wanted to go through it. Like I, I, I've been wanting to go through it and I, but I wanted somebody to go with me that was worth like, hey, I, we're gonna go, we might catch a fish, we might not. It's worth just going through for the fun. Don't have to make a video out of it. If I don't, I don't. You know, if I catch fish, I catch fish. Like it's worth it just for the experience. And I thought it would be worth turning this into a video just to show what it's like. And uh, I've seen a lot of other guys getting out and doing a lot more kayaking in rivers. And smallmouth rivers are probably a little bit better for winter fishing. These spotted bass, um, they're also more like smallmouth. So they do, will like, a, you know, feed some and be a little bit more aggressive. But what's funny in this river, there's so many kusa bass. Like this river is full of kusa bass, the red-eye kusa bass. Not a one of them showed up. It's chock full of red breast, um, not a single fish. Like where do these fish go? They are, they are so hidden. They're so... Like all I saw was a couple suckers swimming around and the only bass I saw were the ones that came out and hit my lure. Uh, I had two bites, had a big one hit and come off. Alex had a couple bites, but mainly that one big one, he said it was a giant. And I saw it from way back where I was. Like it was worth going out. It was worth doing this kind of trip because I enjoy this type of trip. Even though it wasn't very successful as far as fishing, I still had fun with it. Also, I've been wanting to test out that new Crescent Sholey that I got from Frontier Outdoors up in Kingsport. And I'm probably going to do a whole review on this channel, like just of that kayak, just because it, it was amazing how much easier it was and how much easier it went down this stream. And I've kayaked this stretch of river in at least four different kayaks. By far, this was the best kayak I've gone down in it and it just handled and went down beautifully. Thanks for watching. And it was kind of a dingy day. But I had a blast and hope you enjoyed watching it.